So, in the series of learning C++ programming language, in the previous video we have discussed features of C++. In this video, we will talk about history of C++. Before moving further in this course, at least you should have some, you know, basic idea about history of this language. Right, like the versions, the latest version, the improvement made in this language time by time. So, these things we will discuss briefly in this video, right. But before that, I just want to tell you one thing. If you are interested in competitive programming, then Geeks for Geeks has come up with something really exciting for you guys that you cannot miss out. They are going to start a summer training batch from 21st of May. So it is a great opportunity for you guys to enhance your skills during your summer vacations. Whether you want to be a programmer in top company or you wish to top the charts of leading coding competitions, you have come to right place. A live weekend classroom program designed for the people who wish to excel in competitive programming and SD interviews. So now you can learn competitive programming through a live course designed by industry experts to help you enhance your problem solving skills and prerequisite for this course is basic knowledge of programming language and basic knowledge of data structure and algorithm. And in this course you will be mentored by the experts and this also include DSA course, quizzes, mock contests and much more. So what you will learn in this course, all the important concepts of data structure and algorithms, how to improve your problem solving skills, various efficient uh, techniques uh, for competitive programming and efficient implementation of mathematical algorithms. So as, as I have told you this training batch is going to be started from 21st of May. So go and get yourself registered to get counseling the, and you can use my code Jenny10 to get 10% discount for the same. So the registration link and all the relevant details I will put in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. Now as we know C was developed by Dennis Ritchie in 1970 at AT&T Bell Laboratories to develop Unix operating system. right? So C++ was developed by Bjorn Strostrup. He was a computer scientist at AT&T Bell Laboratories. It was developed and he started working on the development of this language since 1979. 1979. He was working on his PhD, you know, thesis work. At that time, he, you know, uh, got a chance to work in similar language, similar programming language. And Simula 67 was the first object oriented programming language. It was the first language who supported OOPS concepts, right? So he thought that these concepts, these OOPS concepts would be, you know, very beneficial to develop large softwares. So these concepts, he thought that can be used in software development. But this language was similar language was it was used for simulation purpose and it was too slow for practical use right and that time C was popular language so he got a chance to work in C language. So he thought to combine C language these OOPS concept in C language right because this was too slow uh, sorry this was you no know, too slow for practical use. Although BCPL was a language, it was fast, but it was too low level programming language and it is not suited for, suitable for software development. So he chose C language. Why? Because it was general purpose programming language, high level programming language, fast, portable and it was wide, widely used at that time. So he thought to combine some OOPS concept in C, right? He thought to make a better C language, right? So that's why C++ is known as extension of C or superset of C. All the features, the basic functionalities of C was as it is, only he added some new concept, oops concept. So the first language, it was not known as C++, it was known as C with classes. Some basic features were added like you can say classes, uh, basic inheritance, single inheritance concept, default function argument concept, inlining, polymorphism. So these concepts, these features were added. And it was known as C with classes and the first C with classes compiler was also released known as C front. Right? It was derived from the comp C compiler, C pre was a compiler, it was derived from that compiler. And the main, the interesting fact is what C front, this compiler was written in C with classes language only. So it was you can say self hosting compiler, a, a compiler that will compile itself. 
but the use of this compiler was abandoned in 1993 right because it became difficult to add new features to integrate new features into it so it was abandoned the use of this was abandoned in 1993 actually now it was renamed as c++ in 1985 but it was not standardized yet and more features were added around this time like virtual functions function overloading the const keyword a single line argument using two forward slash right now in 1985 the first it was the first commercial version was released in 1985 so the first edition you can see the first edition the c++ programming language so in this 1985 the first edition of this the c++ programming language this book was released but it was not standardized yet and c++ was also implemented as a commercial product in the same year right means you can say it was made available outside of the bell labs first time in 1985 then in 1989 also some new features were added like protected and static members multiple inheritance these kind of features were added and you can say that c++ 2.0 was released in 1989 then in 1990 the annotated c++ reference manual was released i hope you know the meaning of annotated it means like to add a description or to add some information a piece of information to a data or an image to describe about that image or that data right some you can say notes these kind of things. So that reference manual was released in 1990 and in the same year Borland Turbo C++ compiler you know was also released as a commercial product and the last uh, stable release for this compiler was in 2006 but still we use this compiler right. Now again in 1998 the standard committee released the first international standard of C++ that was C++ 98 it means it was standardized by ISO in 1998 the version was known as C++ 98 and standard template library was also included STL right in this version now again in 2003 a minor update got released that was known as C++ 03 in which the committee did what they resolved the multiple problems that were there in C++ that were you know that were reported in this standard C++ 98 standard so they fixed those you can say bugs or the problems and released a new update that was known as C++ 03 in 2003 right and then in 2005 the same committee the standard committee released a technical report in this report what was there features various new features that they were planning to add in the latest version of the C++ right they released that report but the next version the next standard were released in 11 after you can say eight years see the previous was in 2003 c++03 so after eight years next version was released it was the longest interval between those release in five they obviously they released a technical report that they want to add these features and they were planning to release that new standard before 2010 so they named the, the, the draft as c++0x means before 10 they want they wanted to release this but because of some reason it was not possible and then in the mid 2011 they released a new version with major updates that was c++ 11 many new features were added like auto keyword and that register keyword was deprecated in 2011 right not removed but it was deprecated it was not recommended to use that register keyword it was replaced by another keyword that auto keyword uh, regular expression support new libraries new time library so many features were added this was a major release 11 lambda expressions right after that in 14 
it was not a major one it was a minor update release bug uh, some bug fixes that was in this one and small improvement in c++ 11 only and it was known as c++ 14 then in 17 again major release was there with the addition of new features and with a great changes in this version that was known as c++ 17 like in this they removed the register keyword right it was unused and reserved register keyword in 11 it was deprecated right it was removed in c++ 17 version and many new header files and libraries were added in this one and some obsolete features some things were removed from this this uh, from this version and this was known as c++ 17 and then next in 20 c++ 20 20 it is the latest version of this language next will be coming in 23 that would be named as c plus plus 23 like it, like in this they have added new features one example is they have added a three-way comparison operator this this is the operator if you can write the this and this right a this operator is known as three-way comparison operator so many these kind of features were added we'll be discussing in detail about these features when we'll move in this course. This is just a small, you can say briefly, uh, we have discussed history of C++. I hope you got this, right? So now that's it for this video. If I have left something, you can write down that thing in comment box. Maybe other can get help from your comment, right? So now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.